Hello students. Um, I'm making this video to introduce to you the series that I'm going to be doing this semester called Conversations with Feminists. Um, I think in the future they're going to be links to YouTube videos. Um, and the plan here is to show you all the different kinds of ways in which feminists uh, practice their feminism in their professions, in their jobs, in their careers, in their disciplines, and to kind of give you a little bit of a glimpse into different approaches for feminism, different definitions that, uh, for feminism that different um, feminists use, and a little bit about what that is like. I also I plan to start with by interviewing some feminists here on campus, um, some professors um, who identify as feminists. And then I plan to reach out to people in the community, um, different feminists who are practicing the community in a variety of professions, and also um, then beyond the, our community. And um, I'm going to try and do some Zoom interviews with, with feminists beyond our community. So I think one thing I want you to understand from this series is that even though um, we sometimes think of St. George as a place where um, feminists are not, that uh, there are actually a lot of feminists in our community and they are practicing that feminism in a variety of ways. As um, a lot, these are gonna be short videos. Most of them will probably be between five and 10 minutes. So just very short interviews. Um, but they're gonna be hopefully showing you that, that, people, that people use feminist theory in a lot of different ways. And that even though feminist theory can be very dense and difficult to read and difficult to understand at times, that people put this into practice and that they find a way to practice um, that theory. And so we can read the theory and be like, wow, the, you know, you might read the theory and kind of be overwhelmed by the density of it, by um, the language. But feminist theory is a, something that underpins feminist action, feminist practice, feminist um, principles, feminist values. And so we're interested in making connection between what people do and what feminists do and some of the motivation, some of the theoretical motivation behind that. Okay, thanks.